Hey guys, this is Miklos Mayer and in this video I'm going to photograph icicles. So I'm now here at a small creek and this creek, where it goes into the Danube, there is a miniature waterfall there. And yesterday when I went for my run, I noticed that there are some beautiful icicles that had formed there. So today I'm going to take photographs of those icicles. So stay with me and let's get going. I arrived to the mini waterfall which is just next to the Danube on the left side of the river. There is the creek and I'm planning to take photos from down there with my Canon 6D with the 50mm lens. Now I got down into the creek so I can show you what I was planning. I was aiming at roughly this composition but I think it works better with a portrait orientation. It will be just perfect for the 50 mm lens. So I set up my Canon 6D in vertical orientation, but you can see the camera is roughly a foot higher than the waterfall. So bringing the camera down a bit would be better so the camera would be in the same height as the icicles. But before that let me show you my settings. I was in manual mode using manual focus and to make shutter speed longer I went for a narrow aperture like f14 and used ISO 100. And then I just played with the shutter speed to obtain the right exposure. Yeah, here my feet were in the icy creek, luckily the shoes held up really well and the water didn't make it inside. Now let's see how this composition turns out. So this is the one where the camera is higher than the icicles. It's not bad at all, but it could be even better. So I decided to put the camera down roughly 10 inches. This will definitely be a better composition. Let's see how this one turns out. Yes, this is way better. I also like the curvy log on the bottom of the frame and also the other curvy log that goes into the upper left corner. They make a very nice natural frame to the photo. Then I moved over to the other branch of the creek where I found another nice waterfall with a grid of smaller icicles. You can see here that I put my tripod into the water which wasn't that easy because of the so many branches. I almost had a heart attack here because as I came out to film this the whole thing almost toppled into the water because the branches lifted the tripod. Again let me show you what I'm shooting with. I have my Canon 6D on the tripod with a 50mm f1.4 lens on it turned into manual focus. On the lens I have a circular polarizing filter. Although it doesn't make a big difference now I like to use it on water surfaces. Of course I'm composing in live view so I don't have to lean down to reach the viewfinder and I can also see how my exposure will look like. I'm in manual mode, in manual focus with f16, ISO 100 and the shutter speed set to half a second. 
just to be on the safe side I was taking HDR brackets of three shots with two thirds stops apart and I had the two second timer on. After I took photos of the mini waterfalls, I wanted to capture some smaller details too. The first was this row of icicles which I again shot with the 50mm lens. At this time the sun was not yet shining on it, I'm emphasizing this because it will be important later. This is the raw photo, I cropped a bit from the top and slightly edited it in Adobe Lightroom. On abstract photos like this you can really play with the white balance a lot. For example, here I pulled the Kelvin slider down from 7300 Kelvin to 5500 Kelvin. And to make it even bluer, I applied some bluish color grading as well to have that really cold, frozen look. Well, if it's colder, why couldn't it be darker as well? So I pulled the exposure down a bit and added some vignetting for a more dramatic effect. Then the sunlight hit the icicles and the atmosphere of the photo completely changed. Again I shot the icicles from the tripod but the camera was still a lot higher than the subject. I didn't really like this angle so I wanted the camera to be on the icicles level. Although the tripod here could be used with an upside down center column, I was very lazy to take it apart so I just put the camera on the ground and folded the neck strap underneath it. It took a few minutes to compose properly, but I was very happy with the composition. This is the edited photo with the camera's auto white balance setting. I noticed that on this photo the cool white balance trick didn't work that well, it just seems a bit unnatural to me. Maybe it's because we can see the sunshine being reflected all over the place and with the blue colors it creates an odd feeling? I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comments which version you prefer. After this I started to hunt for other compositions, that's when I noticed that the sun is beautifully reflected on this area. On the long exposure it looks like a golden yarn. So I started to compose around that both in landscape and in vertical orientation. Though it's hard to enjoy the vertical photos in the video, I think the vertical composition is better here. I also like this V-shaped composition but I wasn't satisfied with it because there is this empty space in the upper left that gets too much attention from the sunlight. At this time the sun came higher so the top of the waterfall was in sunlight but the bottom was still in shade so the lighting was far from ideal. Therefore I started to look for tiny details that had even lighting so I put the 70-200mm to lens on. I think I got the shots I wanted, I am happy with the results, so I'm going to call it a day. I spent roughly 3 hours there, but I, I can always go back because there will be very cold weather in the next week. I hope I could give you some inspiration and ideas on what to shoot this winter. As always, if you found my video useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well. Stay healthy and all the best from frozen Hungary.
őszinte leszek, annyira felöltöztem már, hogy azt gondoltam, hogy hideg lesz. Hideg is van, de annyit futkározok, hogy, hogy, hogy egyáltalán nem fázok.